mixing methyl testosterone feed for use in masculinizing tilapia. Tilapia farmers find that they get very poor results when farming with mixed sex populations, as you do with most other species of fish. This is due to the fact that tilapia have a precocial spawning tendency and they start breeding at a very young age and then you find that there's lots of breeding going on and there's minimal growth. This is clearly undesirable and farmers find they can get around it by farming tilapia in single sex populations. Males grow significantly faster than females so we prefer to use a population of all males for rearing when farming tilapia. We achieve the all-male population by feeding the newly hatched fry a diet which is laced with methyl testosterone at a concentration of 60 parts per million for the first 18 to 21 days after swim up. In order to prepare a mixture of methyl testosterone feed, we require the following ingredients. 1 naught gram of 17 alpha methyl testosterone, 4.2 liters of alcohol and ethanol or propyl alcohol are suitable. 16,6 kilograms of fine fry feed is suitable for feeding tilapia. A scale that can measure 1,0 grams accurately. Possibly a second scale that can measure 16,6 kilograms accurately. A small container in which to weigh the methyl testosterone. A one liter jug, mixing containers, drying containers, and a spade. The steps are as follows. First of all, weigh out the one common naught grams of MT. This needs to be done accurately. Then we dissolve the methyl testosterone that we've weighed out in a small amount of alcohol. Generally, about 200 milliliters of alcohol is adequate for this. Keep stirring the methyl testosterone until it is completely dissolved. We then place the methyl testosterone mixture into a mixing basin and add the balance of the 4.2 liters of alcohol. You can add more alcohol at this point. It's, the amount of alcohol is not critical, but don't use less than 4.2 liters, otherwise you find the alcohol doesn't distribute the methyl testosterone evenly throughout the feed. Next, weigh out 16,6 kilograms of fry feed. Place the fry feed into a mixing basin. Next, we add the methyl testosterone alcohol mix to the feed. Distribute the alcohol very evenly throughout the feed by mixing and mixing and mixing until there are no dry spots because obviously there's no alcohol and therefore no methyl testosterone in dry patches and also making sure that the color of the feed is the same throughout so that you know that there's an even distribution of methyl testosterone throughout the feed. Mixing methyl testosterone by hand is not a good idea both the hormone and the alcohol are disadvantageous to your body. Rather use a spade for this purpose. Once we've mixed the alcohol thoroughly throughout the feed, the feed is placed in thin layers in the drying containers and left where it can dry in the wind but in the shade. Direct sun isn't good for fish feed. After two to three days, the feed should be completely dry and it can then be bagged up and stored in a cool, dry environment for up to six months until it is required. I trust you found this video to be useful. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button below so that we can notify you when we release further videos in the future. Happy fish farming!